smoke, party your ass off. Drink, smoke it, party your ass off. Drink it, smoke it, party your ass off. Drink it, smoke it, party your ass off. Drink, smoke, party your ass off. 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 People think that this is Nova Scotia, this is California. Clearly. Apparently, a uh, came and did a fucking decon here. Really? My homie was just like solidified to the bed from like three weeks of fucking just sitting in their bed. <laughs> like, they said that when they rolled them over, like, the sheets were like pretty much glued to them. That's disgusting. You know what I mean? So like they had to cut them out of the sheeting. Or they go along. Fucking, you know what would be better than one video in a hotel room? Two fucking videos in a hotel room. We got Mike White on the cancer stick right now on the ones and two. Middle Eastern cancer sticks. Are they gross? Disgusting. Smell like cigars. Middle Eastern. <laughs> so, do you want to tell them what we're doing right now? Just so I don't even know. What the fuck Benji, you want? We're gonna shoot this dope porno. The shot that's gonna be the seller is, and I'm gonna fuck. It's gonna go this, and so, and then dead. That's it. Yo, I say, what the fuck on me? Huh? Oh. <laughs> what the fuck on me? Someone's ringing. Uh, hello. <laughs> hey, what's up? I just got three likes on Instagram. Instagram famous now. Today we're gonna figure out uh, what color this pink fucking sheet. What color is this? It's clear. It's pink, <laughs> not man. No, what color is this? That's red. Okay, you <laughs> nailed that one. Now what color's yellow? <laughs> All right, but it's close to green. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Man. What's up, brother? What are you doing today, bro? I'm just doing stuff with things with friends. How's that doing, it's, buddy? It's doing. For sure. That's for sure doing. Bed mouth in the building. Woo! Here we are. We got some people who. It's gonna be funny to say this. I've been waiting. They bridge the gap between Dartmouth to me, Dartmouth and Bedford. Intro. Sonny, it's good to have you back. Thank you. Last time you were here, it was like hot and it tank was, top weather. It was slushies right? and <laughs> I was convinced everybody was drinking lean, but I was convinced <laughs> recently that that wasn't the case. It's hard to hear the pastor in the pulpit. Um, <laughs> gentlemen, right here in the P hat, the P looking hat. good. My name is Michael Beige. I heard you once uh, at the company ha once live at the oh, company yeah. house. Okay, I was impressed. Beautiful, eh? Right, bed mouth. Yo, yeah, yo. Yeah. It's been too long. It's been way too long, man. When did bed mouth? Become a thing. Ah, uh, fuck. We were talking about this. Slani's yeah, made music on his birthday. own. I know that. Yeah, we uh, we were actually you know? talking about the bed mouth birthday today, and we believe it to Bedmouth be birthday. somewhere in November, December, like around this time last year, huh. is when I started when putting out some like a couple little instrumentals here and there. Okay. And then that kind of grew into like, I don't know, man. Me and me and Michael Beige go way back to like, he, me and him would be the first two guys that would be freestyling. You know what I mean? Like the one. Take, take me back. Like get, would, describe <laughs> this scene for me. How right, old are we right. here? How old are you? We'll say we'll say uh, <laughs> seventeen, maybe. Okay. Sitting in lakefront apartments. Re God bless that place. My God, that was his first apartment as well as mine after he moved out. A lot of history in that one place. I understand those but scenarios. All I can remember is just sitting there, tuning on a couple beats, sitting back with a couple brews, couple of the homies, mm -hmm. and just cool. kicking it all night. Like it wasn't even like a thing. It'd right. be like four o'clock and be like, okay. <laughs> so that's how you right. guys first made your kind of rap alliance. That was the, yeah, that was the rap alliance. Me and me and Michael go back to pre K. Okay. Me, like, like, okay. Yeah. Before school even was a thing, man, we were 
you know, graduating together. All right. <laughs> Hitting up all the little honeys up in PK. All right. Four Word years up. old. All yeah, right. four no, years old. Son. Damn. <laughs> you saw in the classroom. So when did you guys, though, take this thing and kind of decide, okay, this is bed mouth? Take me to that moment when you're like, let's do this <laughs> album. Let's make a group. All right. Where was I? Was I, was I here? No, you was were I basic. Mike was, in, Mike was in basic training. Oh, and man. And yeah. I had Who just can't? started my... Uh, <laughs> I just started my course at NSCC. I was doing audio recording. Okay. Before that, I would like, I had this little studio in the back of my parents' shed, you know. Yeah. It was pretty gangster for what it was. Mike was going away to Victoria for basic training, which was... Squamo. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. It was kind of like a shock because Mike's not the type of person I would ever think that. <laughs> and then he took off and it was like, okay, well, like we were rapping and, and then I'd find myself, you know, trying to f- rap with other people and getting little clicks there here and there and, and no one was really pulling it. Like right, we right. Were. And so we were just messaging back and forth from VC and just like, all right, man, you come home at Christmas time, we're getting serious. And that this was last year, so around the same time. And he came home for a couple <laughs> weeks. We laid down a couple tracks. They were okay. Yeah. They 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 were they didn't make it onto this. Okay, but yeah, it was like it was like that bedroom studio shit. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. So it was, sorry. It w- it was it was good. It was fun to get that vibe. But I think at that point we both realized, shit, yeah, like let's do this. Like, let's actually go into a studio, lay down some tracks. Yeah. A lot of the homies were, were actually, you know, supporting it at that point, too. Not in the way they do now. Like, people are pushing harder now, which is really awesome to yeah. see that. But back then, they were like, oh, yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah, they'll they'll probably, you know, make a song and, and frig off and leave <laughs> this shit alone. But, but no, <laughs> make, like, it, it, it make a song like, and frig <laughs> off. <laughs> I think in a way, as much as it's like the weirdest segue you could have, it might be one of the best segues you could have. Let's hit them with some music Fuck and yeah. frig off with this talking for a minute. I like it. I like um, that. I want to play Imminent. Oh, I love it. I like I Imminent. It, of, like, <laughs> this was one of the tracks that came out to me and was like, okay, on the second listen, I'm going to make sure I, I remember what, like, go look what song was that. Yeah. So let's hit them with Imminent, but let's talk about it before we go there. Uh, what is Imminent? What's the song about? <laughs> Ooh, what's the song about? Uh, Michael, you got to hit this one. Yeah. It was uh, originally it was about uh, pretty much basic training, everything just being away from home and everything. And so is this Navy basic training? Yeah, because you're a squamal. That's how yeah. I, I kind of put yeah. that together. See, I'm a genius. But um, so what? Uh, it seems like you're not the kind of guy that would be in the military to your friends, yeah. but then suddenly you were. <laughs> what was that about? It was about living in lakefront apartments, yeah. being broke as fuck, <laughs> <laughs> need, need money, need money. Yeah, need a job. Really. So are you still in the Navy? Yeah. Yeah. It's been like what's your that. what's your I mean and I don't want to put you on blast but like yeah. what do you do generally? Generally, don't give me ranks or nothing. No. <laughs> Numbers and whatnot. Communications and shit. Like. All right. Yeah. So do you ever get to rap like yo? No. Break a <laughs> break a breaker, sub no. on the right. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And I'm gonna cut it tonight. I'm gonna <laughs> you don't do no? no. Canada wins World War Three because of <laughs> rap intelligence. One day, man. Yeah. Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be, be nice. Be the shit. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. Because this is imminent. This it's is right imminent. on us right now. I can't even stop it if I wanted to because it's so imminent. God damn. <laughs> Bedmouth from the album Round One. Go <laughs> get him. Not one like the first. But Round one. More like, like it's done. We won. One and done. One and it? done. That should be an. Uh, that should have been a track of us. I'm not trying to diss, but <laughs> imminent. We'll be back. 88.1 CKD. Turn it up. Pour yourself a drink. Is that good Keep shit? shining. Brandon in the booth. One day I'll be finally getting paid, I think it's imminent I'll share the world, I'll get my dad a Ford wrapped and limited And get my mom a house in whatever city she's living in